Hello, my fellow Akez. This is Liz. Uh, right now, I'm just going to quickly show you. Uh, you need to have Chrome installed in order to use do this. You have to go to the download section. So if you're in Windows, you'll need to download it. If you're on a Chromebook, it will already be installed in your computer. So from your Chrome web browser, you're going to need to type in recovery extension. Also, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content because this extension is how we're gonna create this bootable USB. Um, so keep in mind, it's the same process if you're on a Chromebook or a Windows computer, which is why I'm not gonna show you separately because it's the same thing. I'm gonna check, click on this recover util utility and keep in mind, you'll also need a USB. So at this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my USB in so I don't forget. And then I'm gonna install my, install my extension by hitting add to Chrome. And then I'm gonna hit the add extension button and it will automatically start the process. Once that is um, once that is installed, as you can see, there is a remove button if you need that later on. But I'm going to go up to my little puzzle piece and click on the Chromebook Recovery Utility, and I'm going to hit Get Started. Now, from here, you're going to identify your Chromebook. You can get your model number located usually on the bottom of your Chromebook. Also, some find that people find the select a model from list option a little bit easier. Either way, you just need to put it in there so it knows which Chromebook to create it for. Next, after that, after that information is filled in, hit continue. On the next step, our USB is already plugged in, so you select it and hit create now. And as you can see, it will instantly start creating your recovery image. This will take a while, this process, but don't worry, it will get done and eventually it took for me about 10 minutes. So it's really that simple, guys. I hit done, I can remove my USB now, so really that easy. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.